at the time, uh, another show that was up was In the Heights, which a lot of people know, Lin-Manuel Miranda. But, you know, he credits Passing Strange as being very influential. Like, there is no Hamilton without Passing Strange. It was really ahead of its time. The show that changed my life is a rock musical called Passing Strange, which premiered on Broadway in 2008 and is by Stu, Heidi Rodwell, and Annie Dorson. It's an incredible show that I absolutely adore um, and had the pleasure of being in when there was a production in Toronto. It follows this uh, young Black musician in the 1970s in LA and his relationship with his identity, his relationship with music, his relationship with art. At the time, um, another show that was up was In the Heights, which a lot of people know, Lin-Manuel Miranda. But you know, he credits Passing Strange as being very influential. Like there is no Hamilton without Passing Strange. It was really ahead of its time. It was in 2008, I went and I love musical theater. So I was in, I was, uh, I was in New York and I was going to see a bunch of musicals in a week, the maximum amount of musicals that you can in a week. And we went, we lined up for hours for tickets at TKTS and we got third row uh, tickets to watch it. And uh, at the end, I couldn't, I was, I was inconsolable. <laughs> at the end. I stood up right at the end of the show and I was clapping and I was crying and I had no idea how to um, process any of the information that I had just received. I knew that I was really affected by it. And, you know, a after the show, you're a big musical theater fan, like you're going to go stage door. And so I remember this moment, I, had me I was meeting some of the cast and Coleman Domingo came out and he plays a, gr a great track in the show a few characters in the show. And I started talking and I thought I was keeping my cool. I said, hey, this, this show really means a lot. I, I, I couldn't believe that, you know, like I got to see this. It was something completely new. And I started breaking down and crying. And, and he just opened his arms and gave me a hug while we were there. And I was like, oh, I can't. Even right now, you can see, even right now, I, it's hard to contain um, my love for this show. Like, I, I'm a mess right now even thinking about what it meant uh, to see those bodies on stage and to realize that the box that people want to put either black theater or the box that people want to put like musical theater especially in, there's so much room outside of that. And this was like a, like a light bulb moment. I realized that, oh, there, there isn't this mold that you, you have to fit into that that there are ways to experiment outside of that. And that can, that is legitimate and has value. You look at the, the title and you look at uh, Passing Strange and you go, okay, what is that? What does that even mean? What, what, is, what is that? And uh, that's taken from Othello, which uh, so many people know. Uh, so you have a black man uh, living in the context of a white world and kind of one expression of that. And then passing is also a common phrase as like passing for white. Um, passing is something that you are not. And in this context, which is, which kind of turns that on its head is passing as black, as a black person. Uh, I think that is, you know, how, what is expected of me as a black artist when I enter a room? Uh, what, and how do I shift myself to fit that or how, my relationship to that expectation, uh, I think is what resonates with me. I mean, I was born in the Middle East. I'm half Filipino. Uh, I have a, I bring something, you know, I guess not, not stereotypical to what uh, there are an images in theater of what a, of a black man should be or can be. I think there's a, there's a lot of pressure with this expectation when, when somebody walks into a room and this musical tackles that. Musical stage, known as acting upstage at that time, and Obsidian actually put it up and used the rock venue to put it up, the Opera House on Queen, um, and directed by Philip Aiken. 
I was almost not in this show and it would have broken my heart, but I, I was so, so fortunate to get to work with these artists and to do this show in Toronto. It's a really beautiful, beautiful piece of theater and I love it. I love it dearly.